Welcome everybody. I'm Lisa Marshall, the Heat Smart Program Director, and I have with me today a very special guest, one of our um, favorite uh, energy advisors from Halco Energy, Matt Dennis. Okay, our favorite energy advisor. Let's just not say one of. Um, <laughs> My favorite too. You're, yeah, exactly. Who is going to present to us a really exciting case study um, today that that they did. Um, this lead came to Heat Smart earlier this year, or maybe even late last year. It was late last year, yeah. Yeah, right around the corner from where I live in Erin, New York, down here in Shimon County. And I'm looking forward to turning this over to Matt to um, to present that to you. Meanwhile, I'm going to start off with my slides, which is just a little overview of the Heat Smart program um, and why we exist and what we do and then i'll turn it over to the main event um so if you don't mind uh staying muted during the slides and then we'll have um, plenty of time for q a so i'm gonna head over to my slides now all right so as i said my name is lisa marshall i'm the heat smart program director that's the heat smart tompkins program which covers tompkins <laughs> and counties and we are a community nonprofit that is dedicated to education and outreach and support around um, home energy efficiency measures. Um, really, it could be any building, although we do specialize in residential. And uh, with an emphasis on heat pump technology for heating, cooling, and hot water heating. Um, we like to emphasize what we call the three C's, the cost savings, the comfort, and the climate solutions that um, are offered by these technologies and these um, building improvements. And um, we've recently added this fourth C for convenience, and we found a lot of people actually are looking for a more convenient heating system for their home or building. And we'll talk about that a little bit in our slides. Um, we, as I said, are a nonprofit. We make no money off of any sales um, that you may enter into as a result of, of our work with you. Okay, we, how do we fund this Heat Smart program? We are funded through NYSERDA, New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. And we are one of about 20 clean heating and cooling or heat smart programs across the state, as you can see from this map. Um, most New Yorkers are now served by a heat smart program. And we're super duper proud of this because actually we were the very first heat smart program. And we found were founded just by a handful of folks in Tompkins County who really were just sitting around the kitchen table talking about how can we promote um, energy efficiency and, and, and renewable energy to our neighbors and help them make it easier for them to learn about these technologies and find a good reliable installer and install it and figure out the affordability to install heat pumps in their home. So uh, once NYSERDA saw that that program um, was really promising, they decided to not only fund us, and, but to fund these programs around the state. These are not funded through your taxes. Every month when you pay your utility bill, you pay something called the systems benefit charge. And that is where nice sort of funding comes from. So thank you for paying my salary. <laughs> and that maybe leads to the question that some of you might have of why do we need a heat smart program or a clean heating and cooling community program? What, why was that important? And the reason is because um, it's pretty simple. We find ourselves in what some are terming the climate crisis or the climate emergency. This is uh, the, the rapidly warming atmosphere, which is leading to more extreme weather um, and other um, very severe disruptions to our, our a healthy climate that supports human life. And so in order to face, confront that problem, we need to figure out as a, as a state, as a country, as a society, um, how we're going to reverse that 200 year trend where each year we burn significantly more fossil fuels than we burned the year before. No one's ever figured out how to do that. So it's a, it's a big job and we're all working on it together. And one of the first ways to do that is to think, well, where where are these fossil fuel emissions coming from? And here in New York State, as you can see from this graphic, about a third of our fossil fuel emissions are coming from the on-site combustion in buildings. So buildings are a really big piece of the puzzle. Uh, most New Yorkers have a little fossil fuel power plant right in their own basement um, that burns away the oil, the propane, the gas, or the kerosene, or the coal um, to heat their house. So figuring out how to use less of those fuels and then ultimately transition off of those fuels onto um, efficient electric heating is the goal of the HeatSmart program. I just also wanna mention we have in New York uh, this 
climate law, the CLCPA, the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act, that actually now requires us to figure this out. Not only do we need to do it, but we are now legally required to. And so um, some of these programs through NYSERDA are helping us to figure out how we're, how we're going to work together to do that. And at the same time, have the benefit of improving people's um, health, the health of their homes and their comfort and safety um, and lowering energy bills. So it's sort of a win, we see it as a win, win, win for everybody. So how do we use energy in our homes? This graphic is from Minnesota, but it's pretty similar to New York. Most of the energy used in your home in, in a cold climate is for heating. Um, this says 55% for heating and air conditioning, but I think it's safe to say that's about 53 or 54% for heating. Um, we don't use a lot of energy for air conditioning in New York, although it is more and more now as our climate warms. And water heating is also a big aspect of that. This graphic says 15%, I've seen 17%, I've seen 20%. So in a typical home, we're using um, a significant amount for heating water. And that's where HeatSmart is trying to focus on reducing the energy use from those, um, from those tasks that are you know, essential to modern life. So we can't stop heating, we can't stop heating water, so we have to figure out how to do it the best way possible. Well, what is the best way possible? The best way possible, um, HeatSmart really recommends um, sort of two major areas of, of ways of looking at your house. One is taking a look at that building envelope. That's the insulation and the air sealing. That's, so no matter how you're heating your air in the winter or cooling it in the summer, you want that conditioned air that you worked so hard and paid for to stay inside the house with you and not to um, go out the window or the roof or the, or the, or the garage door or the, or the basement. So taking a look at that building envelope is, is very important. And um, mostly we also focus on um, heat pumps for heating and cooling. This is an incredible um, and exciting technology. It's not a new technology, but it's a much improved technology, which takes the heat from energy from the air or the ground and uses it to heat your house also can be run in reverse to cool your house, which is very exciting. And that heat pump technology can also be used to heat hot water. So that's one of the, some of the reasons we love it. Here are some basic kinds of heat pumps um, that you might see. Um, this on the left is the air source heat pump. Common, this kind is commonly known as a ductless mini split. Um, and we see these, they're very popular, very adaptable kind of heating systems that can be used to heat a whole home or just um, part of a home or add extra heat or air conditioning to a home or an outbuilding. They're very um, adaptable to different situations and relatively affordable technology. Um, in the middle, we have the sort of what I consider the gold standard, the ground source or geothermal heat pump system. This is a um, major investment of money and time to put one of these in because um, you have to dig either vertical boreholes or horizontal trenches in your outside of your house to lay the, the heat exchange loop. But once that's done, that's sort of a once in a lifetime expense. Um, and then you can rely on the wonderful, steady thermal um, energy in the ground, which in this area is around 50 degrees all year round to both heat and cool your home and also heat your hot water um, incredibly efficiently and affordably once you've made that investment. And then here on the right is the heat pump water heater. Um, this little guy is, is getting more and more popular. It's basically just an electric water heater with a little heat pump that sits on top. And that heat pump preheats the water, which um, then the electric coil on the bottom, all it has to do is just keep that already um, hot water warm. So it's, it's much more efficient than a um, classic electric water heater. Um, those um, don't work for every home. It is a little taller than a conventional water heater. And, um, it does take some heat energy out of the air to heat that water. So you want to um, make sure it's, it, it's in a, a place that really works um, for the technology and, and the installer will talk to you about whether that is a good idea for your home or not. Insulation, air sealing, a quick primer. So insulation is like that warm wool sweater here on the left. But when the wind blows, um, that cold air can still go through that warm wool sweater and get in, onto your skin. So you also want to seal the air or put on a windbreaker <laughs> for your house, and that's to keep to get the close up the cracks and keep the um, the air um, inside. So sometimes people are confused, but both of those measures, insulation and air sealing together, are what we call weatherization. 
So without any further ado, that's my little presentation. I'd love to turn it over now to Matt Dennis of Halco. And Matt, do you want to do your own screen share or do you want me to just advance slides for you? Yeah, I've got it up on my side, so I can do it that way. I can just click through. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and go to Matt now and I'm going to mute myself. So take it away, Matt. <coughs> Okay. Yeah. Everybody see my screen? Looks great. Okay, dokie. If, uh, if for some reason you can't see the screen, please just let me know. I'm going to try to adjust this here. Sorry. I've got, I've got multiple monitors open here. I guess I should have moved this. So I'm going to be looking up to the side, but I promise I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention to you. Um, so uh, my name is Matt Dennis with Halco Energy. Uh, tell you a little bit about Halco is um, you know so we've um, we've been in business a long time. I've uh, been in business since 1984. We are a full home service uh, home comfort energy company. Uh, so if it has to do with home energy, home comfort, heating, cooling, electric, insulation, we do it all. Um, we view the house as a whole, and that's really what's important when we're talking about making homes efficient and reducing costs, reducing carbon footprint and, and overall improving the quality of, of life inside the home, you have to look at everything. You can't just, it's, it's not a one fixed thing typically. Um, there's usually multiple problems and A leads to B leads to C. So we try to, we sort of try to unravel the, the ball of yarn in the, uh, in the house and try to figure out what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> we, uh, we service 23 counties throughout central New York and the Southern tier. There's our map. Um, the, uh, the main orange area is our main service area. That's our full service area. We do everything we offer. The, the blue is sort of the borderline. Um, <clears throat> we do have to stop somewhere, but you'll learn in this, uh, this case study, we actually, uh, is, we were in Chemung County, which is blue, but don't let that fool you. We can, uh, we can handle everything. <clears throat> As I mentioned, our motto is, yes, we do that. We do everything. So if it has to do with home energy and home comfort, um, insulation, air sealing, any weatherization measures, uh, ground source heat pumps, air source heat pumps, solar, basement waterproofing, electric, plumbing, you name it, pretty much anything you need. Um, and we're all, uh, and we, it's not one man band. It's a, we've got dedicated um, professionals that, that, that do what they do. Our HVAC guys are our HVAC guys. Our insulation guys are the insulation guys. We don't pick and choose what to do that day. We've been working with HeatSmart since the very beginning. Um, we're partnered with a couple of the other HeatSmart programs throughout uh, our service area. Um, and at the end of the day, we just want to, um, you know, echo really uh, what, what the HeatSmart folks have been doing um, uh, is, you know, making homes more efficient and, and saving money and saving energy. Uh, we've been pioneering that for, for many years now. And, um, you know, it was just a natural fit to jump on board with the, the HeatSmart folks. Um, <clears throat> we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. If, uh, if you call us anytime, day or night, uh, call us at 2 a.m. on Sunday morning, a real life person will answer the phone. Um, it's not an answering service. It's not a leave a message. We'll get back to you. Uh, a help employee will always answer the phone for you. So we, uh, we, we take pride in that because it's not something that's really normal these days. Um, so if you, you know, don't hesitate to give us a call day or night, we'll, uh, we'll answer the phone. <clears throat> the, um, uh, we, we pride ourselves on, on listening to customers and, and, and we are really happy, uh, when they reach out and take their time to let us know when we're doing a good job or if we need to improve on something. Uh, we've got over 1500 Google reviews. We're very proud of that. I think we're at a 4.9 rating on Google, which is pretty good. Um, we've got over 8,000 reviews on our website, and, which you can actually go online and, and filter in to kind of see if folks in your area or your neighbors have worked with Halco and, and get a, an honest opinion of us. Um, about 1,500 of those come from Tompkins County. Um, <clears throat> we work with all the different programs that NYSERDA offers with, um, with the rebates and the financing, all the utility incentives that are available. Uh, it's a lot of paperwork, but it's, you don't have to do it. Uh, we take care of that for you. We'll do all the paperwork for you. The only thing you really need to do is just let us in um, and figure out what's going on. So I wanna tell you a little bit about um, 
the uh, uh, project we did, um, Don out in Aaron. Uh, Aaron is a small little town. Uh, I didn't know it was a town until I got there. Uh, it, in Chemung County, um, uh, you, you go out past Ithaca, past Newfield, headed toward, uh, take, stay on 13, headed out, and, um, and you'll find it out there. <clears throat> Old farm home. Uh, built in the 1880s, um, multiple additions. I mean, like most farmhouses, they've been added on, added on, added on. So, um, you know, and a lot of things kind of get overlooked. Uh, old farmhouses are not terribly um, well insulated. Uh, in this case, there was almost no insulation in this house. Um, and uh, it's just something you know, never thought about. You know, you just threw another log on the fire if you were cold. Um, so we, we wanted to address that. And when Don called us, um, he uh, he wanted to know what we could what we can do to make things better. So <clears throat> how do we how to make the house more comfortable and um, how do you reduce uh, heating costs? Uh, he had a mixture of heating uh, systems. He had a, an old oil boiler which had uh, failed, didn't work anymore, and a couple of pellet stoves and some electric space heaters throughout the house. <clears throat> oh, I just went through all that. <laughs> um, in addition to the, uh, he also didn't have air conditioning, so the house was pretty toasty in the summertime. Uh, the pellet stoves couldn't really keep up. That's why he needed the electric space heaters. Uh, electric water heater, which was nothing special, just a traditional electric water heater, pretty inefficient. Uh, his electrical service was unsafe uh, because of uh, the boxes was, was actually rusting out, um, causing shorts. Uh, so that needed to be addressed. And he also, the basement was wet, uh, so much so that when I went there, I was sloshing around in about three inches of water in his basement. Um, <clears throat> so all that needed to be addressed from a health and safety standpoint first, and then we can move to the making the house more efficient. Um, how do we do that? We installed a cold, uh, an LG cold climate ductless air source heat pump system. Uh, we did a significant amount of insulation upgrades. Uh, new heat pump water heater, new electrical service, and a sump pump in the basement to address all that. Um, one advantage to Halco and all the services we offer, we could do all that under one umbrella. Now, I will tell you, he had four different crews at his home um, over the course of several weeks doing all of these upgrades. Um, the electrician did the electrical. The, we, we had a, um, a, a, a basement waterproofing crew handle the sump pump. So everybody... Um, that was in his house specialized in, in their trade. <clears throat> Some before and after pictures here. Um, this is the picture of the main attic. As you can see, not a whole lot going on up there. Um, we added uh, 14 inches of cellulose over top of that. This was a knee wall attic space that was used for storage. Um, so we spray foam the roof deck. And the, the walls, as you can see this picture right here, we drilled a hole and you can see there's nothing in those walls. It's completely empty. So much so that he had, in the wintertime, he would actually have frost on the inside of the house because there was no insulation in the walls. <clears throat> so uh, we went through, pulled the siding off, drilled holes and dense packed the, the walls throughout the house. <clears throat> uh, we had to do a bunch of air sealing. The, um, we do a blower door test to see how drafty the house is. And this one was, way out there. Um, I, I, the exact numbers, uh, I'll spare you the numbers uh, because it won't mean much to anybody, but uh, suffice it to say it was probably about eight times what it should have been um, for, the, for a house of, of, of comparable size. <clears throat> we, um, between the insulation, the air sealing, um, we were able to reduce the air leakage by about 50%. And as Lisa had mentioned, um, the importance of air sealing, that's, that's the windbreaker on the, on the, on the house. Uh, so we really had to, to, to nail that down to tighten it up. Otherwise, <clears throat> the, um, the heating system that we put in uh, would, wouldn't keep up any better than the, um, than the systems that he already had. <clears throat> Excuse me. And some pictures of the um, Existing system, you can see there's an oil boiler. Again, it had failed. It wasn't working when we got there. A um, couple of pellet stoves. And um, I did have a picture of a space heater. I just forgot to put it on there. <clears throat> but the um, you had the two pellet stoves in the first floor. You had the space heaters in all the bedrooms. Uh, his, his energy usage was crazy. Um, and uh, that's, you know, we needed to address that. 
<clears throat> new system is um, a ductless multi-zone uh, air source heat pump system, uh, five zones. So there's five indoor units. It's a picture of floor mounted unit. Um, there's also a couple of high wall ductless units and the outdoor, they all run off of this one outdoor unit. And this system can handle all of the heating and cooling of the house by itself. Uh, <clears throat> and um, in, 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 even in the coldest days, um, the system is sized to heat the house on the coldest days of the year. Um, just a uh, the water heater, just a regular electric water heater, nothing special. Um, something you can you know find at the Lowe's or Home Depot. And we put in a uh, air source heat pump water heater. Uh, this will reduce his water heating costs um, by about sixty percent or so. Um, probably a little more than that. Um, air source heat pump water heaters are very very high efficient. Um, <clears throat> they can do a pretty good job. And you can see it's in, a, it's in an unfinished basement, which is really the, the best uh, place to put these units. They are not very well, they don't work very well in a finished space. <clears throat> uh, the electrical service upgrade, uh, again, this is what we started with. This is what we ended with. Uh, we had to bring it up to code. This is, this is all out of whack. You can see um, I had another picture of a breaker that was just hanging out, uh, but um, the, the breakers are short because the basement was wet. Uh, it would, it would, you know, you can see there's rust in here. You don't want rust in corrosion in your electrical panel. Uh, that will, uh, that's a recipe for disaster. Um, here's a picture of uh, when we first got there. You can see that's, that's water on the floor. Um, we're standing in, in probably about two or three inches of water and muck. And that all came up from underground. Um, the, Water is hydroscopic, so it wants to push. It's going to go to the path of least resistance, and it was actually pushing through the the cracks in the foundation. Or, I'm sorry, in the um, in the slab. That's a concrete slab over that. <clears throat> and then uh, um, we put in a sump pump, and even though this looks mucky, this actually is a lot better than it uh, was. It's dried now, but this is right after we put the sump pump in, and uh, we're able to take all that water out and, and pump it out. So it made a huge difference. So the results, um, everybody's happy. So there's no more oil being used. There's no more pellets being used. I think one of the pellet stoves is there for ambiance uh, and the space heaters don't need to be used. So happy family, uh, uh, Don's got a couple of young kids um, and they're all, uh, they're all happy to be nice and toasty um, in the winter time. And of course, you know, we're able to take advantage of the cooling. Um, it's cleaner, it's safer, uh, it's more reliable, it's more efficient. So there's really no, no downside in any of this. Uh, a, by the numbers, we'll break down the project. The insulation air sealing project that was approved, uh, it was $14,365. Um, the Empower New York State grant uh, for income-based folks covered the entire project. Now, I will say this is an outlier. Um, that's typically more than they approve, but unfortunately the house needed a lot more and we really needed to, we, we had to really stress that, you know, we can't just fix nine holes in a, in a, in a nine out of 10 holes in a tire, you still got a flat tire. So <clears throat> we were able to make a case with Empower and they approved a bit more. They don't typically go that high. Um, and it costs the customer nothing. The electric, uh, I'm sorry, the, the heat pump system, um, that's the air source heat pump for heating and cooling, the heat pump water heater, the electrical service upgrade, and the sump pump. Um, the total project for all that was 28615 The um, uh, NYSEG has a clean heat uh, rebate system or rebate available for everybody, regardless of income. Uh, that covered $6,600 so the project and the Empower New York heat pump grants. Um, this particular project was part of a pilot study that NYSERDA did last year. Uh, uh, well, it, it, it ended just recently. So it's a, for about a year, they had this program um, of limited funds. And uh, you know, Don and his family were able to take advantage of that. So they covered $20,762 worth of the project. Final net cost was 1250 bucks. Um, not too bad, I think. Um, the uh, by 
operating cost, he was using about six tons of pellets, which equated about $1,500 a year, um, over 10,000 kilowatt hours worth of electricity just for heating alone. Um, so almost $3,000 a year to heat this house. <clears throat> uh, projected, like I said, we, we only just finished the projects. So we haven't gone through a full winter yet. Uh, so the uh, based on some simple conversions, we're expecting to use about $7,500 worth of electric or 7,500 um, kilowatt hours of electricity at 12 cents a kilowatt or, uh, is uh, $900. So uh, basically it's, it's saving uh, a tremendous amount of cost of operation. And again, safer, cleaner, rel more reliable, um, and overall better. Um, <clears throat> I've got, uh, Lisa, have we got time to play the whole video or do you want me to just you can let me know if you want me to stop at any time? Yeah, let's do it. The video is great. Are you optimized for um, video sound and all that when you shared? If not, go look at the little three dots and it says optimize for. Okie dokie, hang on a second. Optimize for video. Okie dokie. All right, I am optimized. So this is a, a testimonial from down here, just a couple of minutes here. John Bauer here in New York. I uh, work for Pella of Central New York, so pretty familiar with contractors and all the process that's out there. Um, my wife and I got started because we had heard an ad when I was driving. Um, for work one day, heard an ad about heat pumps. We were in the process of looking and seeing what was going to be the most efficient way to heat our home. Um, took a couple minutes, filled out the application online, and I don't, I wanna say we did that at about nine o'clock at night. And by 8.30 the next morning, we received a call from Helco um, following up on the application, letting us know they received it. Uh, and the next step was for them to come out and do a home interview, um, an assessment. Um, which we were open to. Um, here we thought we were only, you know, looking at heat pumps. Um, when Helco got here and did the whole home assessment, there was multiple things um, that they could help us with, such as insulating our home. Um, so the walls didn't have any insulation in them. The attics weren't sprayed. Uh, and there were some other, um, like a sub pump in the basement and things like that. So um, upon that assessment, uh, we waited to hear back from the process. Um, Helco came back, told us, you know, we received most of the, the funding um, we were applying for to get the home insulated, heat pumps, um, and so forth. One of the programs not included was a sub pump, um, but that was important <laughs> to us because we had burned up some of the little smaller sub pumps, and so getting the actual basement treatment system um, was something. And so we wound up paying for that out of pocket, um, but it's been a pleasure to have, especially this year, we've seen nothing but rain and our basement is completely dry. So it was definitely well spent. Uh, but the whole process alone started, like I said, with just a simple application online and it led to more home projects that we didn't even think we would qualify for, let alone get assistance with putting it in and installing it. Felt 100% committed to Helco and their process um, and very friendly environment and crews that come in and work to the point where we actually were in the process of I was on my way to work one day and my wife called and said hey our hot water we don't have any water um, so knew there was an issue with our pump and actually called Helco right away and within three hours they had individuals out here to help fix our water pump and um, like I said, was completely happy with the service we got on all the cords, all the way from the first initial interview, all the way up through completion. Um, was 100% satisfied with how one simple application turned to a complete home um, renovation, basically, um, with insulation and the heat pumps, and it's been a pleasure. The knowledge that was required for the heat pump installation and just how each crew specializes in an area. It's not just, hey, I'm here and I can do all of this. It was specialized crews coming in, different steps throughout the way, actually taking the lead and putting those in. The professionalism all around from those crews. It wasn't, um, there was multiple times where I would just say, hey, um, we got stuff to do. The door's gonna be unlocked and they went right ahead. Um, one of the nice things was um, we have one dog that stays outside most of the time during the summertime. He doesn't like to 
come around, he wants to protect outside. Um, and they always made sure if it was a hot day or something, he had extra water in his dish. And so just those little things that took you guys to the next step and went above and beyond, you know, what you were there to do, but actually making sure, you know, people's animals were taken care of, that they weren't gonna be there all day. Um, we had to be gone while they were spray foaming. So making sure, you know, everything was taken care of when we weren't here really made us feel comfortable. Yeah, so with, with Heat Smart, um, that was the ad that I saw on TV, um, or excuse me, on the radio when I was going to work. Came back, told my wife about it. Um, we started doing our research, and as you filled out that application on there, it asked for, you know, who were the contractors that you'd like to do the work. Well, most of the names were companies we had never heard of. So we actually punched in each company and tried to learn a little bit about which company would we be letting into our home because, you know, it's what there's a trust that needs to be there. And um, after due research and looking into everybody, um, Helco was fairly local to us. Um, I had seen their vans and crews around multiple homes and um, we decided, hey, we're gonna go with the Helco. And like I mentioned, as soon as we click submit on that application at nine o'clock, um, by 8.30 the next morning, we had received a call. So that just speaks to, at that point, it solidified. We picked the right company to work with. Um, the responsiveness was tremendous. Um, and every step of the way, if there was the simplest of issues, um, we got that responsive call and really made us feel like we picked the right company. My advice would be 100%, yes, take a call from Helco. Um, and that being said, I've actually recommended Helco to several people um, just because of the service we received and the the attention to detail. So it wasn't just, you know, coming in and doing what they were here to do, but if they saw something simple that they could rectify, um, it got addressed. And then they just said, hey, we happened to do this because X, Y, and Z. Um, it came really well um, recommended. Once we started doing our research, we knew we were gonna go with Helco to do our home improvements. And I would highly recommend it to anybody because the process is smooth and the professionalism is far to none. I mean. I would think it's more of a family. Like when the crews come in, they treat everybody as if it was their own family and they were doing work on their own home. Um, there were a couple nights where the crews were here late and it was just trying to finish up a project because they didn't want to leave it to the next day or they didn't want to have something happen. They wanted to make sure the job was completed before they left. Um, where sometimes you get a company and it's, hey, it's five o'clock, I gotta be gone. That wasn't the case here. Several of them worked through rainstorms um, to complete everything. Some of them worked in 90 degree weather to get through through the projects. Um, so the, the commitment to the job 100% and treating everybody like family is one of the higher qualities that I would recommend Helco for. Um, but also just some of the more nuances like the attention to detail and looking out for the people that when they're in their homes, you know, finding different things that would protect them. Um, and help improve their home. Okay. Oops. And uh, and that's what we have for you. So. Um, Going to uh, thank everybody for for uh, sticking with me here, and I'm going to turn this back over to Lisa as soon as I stop sharing. There we go, Lisa. It's it's all yours. If you, anybody has any questions, I'm I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. I'm just going to finish off um, our presentation here. Um, hold on a sec. Um, I think I am. Oops, nope, that's not what I'm trying to share. Where are we? Here we go. So um, we have, we're really proud to have um, six wonderful installer partners that work with us. Four of them serve um, Tom, or all of them serve Tompkins County. Four of them serve um, Chemung County, Lamort and NP. It's just too far for them to go to Chemung County. Um, and uh, Daly, Lamort and NP are, exclusively heat pump contractors they do not do the weatherization work um, and they don't do other they don't do fossil fuel furnaces they don't do other stuff they are heat pump specialists and then we have Halco and simply installs that do both um, heat pumps 
as well as the insulation air sealing work, um, as well as some other things. Halco has the most comprehensive program and is the biggest company. And then we have Zero Draft over here that is a weatherization specialist. And um, so these are our six partners and we uh, stand behind all of them and recommend them. Um, and to get started with Heat Smart, the process is pretty simple. You go to heatsmarttompkins.org and enroll. Like Don said in the video, he filled out the little form. It just takes about three minutes. I send the lead out to the contractors and then they follow up with you. They're supposed to follow up within two days. Um, these home assessments are completely free and no obligation to you. So um, we encourage you to go ahead and enroll if you're ready for home assessments. But if you're not, um, to reach out and talk to me at HeatSmart. Um, there's multiple ways to reach me. Our, my email and phone number are both on our website and there's also, I'm gonna put them into the chat. And also we have this handy calendar scheduler um, where you can book a little appointment on my calendar and then I call you at a time that's mutually beneficial to both of us. And that's really the best way because if you call me, I'm most likely in a meeting or doing a webinar, then you leave a message, then I call you back and I leave you a message and it might be a while before we actually talk to each other. So um, I'm willing to play that game too, whatever works for you. So um, thank you guys for spend, having lunch with us. And now it's time for any questions that you might have for me or for Matt, um, take it away.